Hello everyone, welcome to another installment, another episode, another day, another week of Recipe on the Back. I'm your host, Jonathan Melendez from The Candid Appetite. It's a show where I make recipes that I find on random grocery store products. I rate them and I let you know if they're any good. It's a fun show and I hope you're enjoying it. You better be enjoying it. So let's get started. This week, we have a can of S&W white navy beans, low sodium. It says S&W quality starts with the best beans from the best fields. It's a product of Del Monte. Our good friends at Del Monte. I love Del Monte from last season, if you remember, it was a can of corn. So this week we're making a recipe from a can of corn. Hello? What happened? Enough about that, because this isn't even sponsored. Um, we're making white bean guacamole. I love white beans. I love it in soups. I love it in dips, like a white bean hummus. Delicious. It has the beans, garlic, lime juice, avocados, tomatoes, cilantro, onion, and salt. That's it. The best thing is there's no cooking involved. Everything's made in a food processor. So let's get started. Let's get cooking, okay? Or let's get puree. Uh, place beans in the food processor, okay? And then it says to drain them and rinse them. I always drain and rinse any canned bean because they're sitting in like a salty liquid. Garbanzo beans usually are like in a thicker liquid and I don't like that, so I rinse it off and drain it. So that's what we're doing. So that's a can of white navy beans. And to that, we're gonna add two garlic cloves. My garlic cloves are a little bit smaller, so I'm doing three. And then two tablespoons of lime juice, which is, I think about, depending on how juicy your limes are, I think it's one, one whole lime. Okay, and then it says to add one and a half avocados, and then you'll save the other half of the avocado because you need two. Um, you'll save it for later to add a little bit of texture to the guacamole. This is how I like to handle my avocados. I run my knife through it, right, one way, and usually what people do is they'll separate at this point, and then they'll scoop it out with a spoon, but then I feel like you're dirtying something else, so why do that? Um, so after you do it one way, I go the other way, the opposite way, so you're basically quartering, quartering your avocado, and then you separate it, right? So you'll get four halves. And then also it's easier then to remove the pit. You don't have to go with a knife like this and hurt yourself. I've seen that happen so many times. That's the first great thing about it. The second great thing is, is that the peel will peel right off of your avocado then you don't have to dirty anything else. You'll just dirty your hands, but you can just wash them. And then it says to puree for about a minute until very smooth. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to ask you. Well, you might have to turn it off and Help it. Okay, so after it's smooth, see, we're going to transfer this mixture to a bowl. So then it says to add the remaining ingredients and it's uh, the rest of the avocado, which we'll dice and add. And so the thing is, I like when my guacamole has a little bit of chunk to it. I don't like when it's like completely smooth. And so I like that the recipe does that. It doesn't just, it doesn't just add everything to a blender. Are you all right over there? I'm choking. Have some water. <laughs> and then two tomatoes that we're going to dice. And it says to seed them. I'm assuming they don't want to add extra moisture or liquid to the um, guacamole. So I'm just going to seed them. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to make sure that Everything you're dicing is all relatively the same size. You don't want like these big chunks of tomato running through. So just make sure they're all similar. And then we'll add some red onion. 
It says a quarter cup red onion. I'd say it's about half of a small red onion. You want to dice it very finely because you don't want to bite into a big chunk of raw onion because it will be overwhelming. Recipe doesn't call for it, um, but I'm going to think outside the box. And I'm going to add some jalapeno because I like when my guacamole is a little bit spicy. And so I'm adding that. If you like a little bit of spice and you don't want it to be overwhelming, you can add some jalapeno, but all of the spice, really, the heat lives in the seeds and the membrane of your pepper. So if you want to control some of that heat and just have like a little bit of a kick, I would suggest taking out the membrane and the seeds from your pepper and then dicing it. We'll add that to the bowl as well. Uh, some cilantro, about half a cup fresh cilantro, roughly chopped. I know there's some people out there who don't like the taste of cilantro, so obviously you can leave it out if you don't like it. Okay, add it to our bowl. Now it says only to add salt, but I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I just feel like they always go hand in hand. So I don't know why they didn't add it. I have a problem with that. You can also add a little bit of oregano or a little bit of ground cumin, just a little bit so it doesn't overpower it, to add a little bit more flavor if you want. Then you mix it all together. It smells like hummus meets guacamole. If you have the choice between eating only hummus for the rest of your life or only guacamole, which one would you choose? Guacamole. It's in my blood. That's it, look at that. It's pretty good. You can't even tell that there's beans in here. It just looks like regular guacamole. That's it, we're done. Put a little cilantro on top for garnish. <laughs> you should dance a little more on this show. I'm not dancing. Sure. As you can see, it's super easy. Super easy, came together in no time at all, as you saw. Like this, delicious. It looks like guacamole, I can't complain. Let's try it, okay? Now they give you these suggestions down here in the recipe that says, delicious served with triangles of warm pita bread or your favorite cracker. Who eats guacamoles with pita bread? Pita? Who eats guacamole with pita bread or crackers? Nobody does. You want it with chips and only chips, okay? Let's see. Like I said earlier, you can't even tell that the beans are there. You can smell it, but you can't see it. So let's see. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I like that. It's like a hummus meets guacamole. Because of the canned beans, it's giving it this like hummusy taste. It almost tastes like actually Hold on. It almost tastes like guacamole meets that Frito bean dip, you know, that comes in the little can. It tastes like that, actually, not hummus. It's delicious. I love it. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would totally make this again. Like I said, you can't really taste the beans, so it's not like, wow, you know, bean guacamole. But considering I only used two avocados for this, it made a lot. So if you're trying to stretch out, you know, because avocados are pretty expensive, or you only have two and you want to make a bigger amount, you don't want to go to the grocery store. This would be, this is great. Like the beans add a little bit more to it. Everyone would love it if you make this at a party. Make it. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next week and um, explore a new recipe with me. Thank you.